Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see the concept of composite functions and its derivatives. So let us first understand the definition of composite functions. If u is a function of x and y as shown in the diagram and x and y are functions of t, then we say that u is a composite function of t then derivative of u with respect to t will be ordinary derivative whereas derivative of u with respect to x or y will be partial derivative. Since x and y are functions of single variable t, their derivative with respect to t will be ordinary. The derivative of u with respect to t is called as total derivative of u and is given as du by dt is equal to dabba u by dabba x into dx by dt plus dabba u by dabba y into dy by dt. As I said earlier, this derivative is called as total derivative of u. Now let me show you an example on this. If z is equal to xy square plus x square y, x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to 280, then we are asked to find dz by dt. Let us first draw tree diagram for this set of functions. Here you can see that z is a function of x and y defined as xy square plus x square y. x and y are functions of t defined as x is equal to 80 square and y is equal to 280. So z become a composite function of t and derivative of z with respect to t that is dz by dt is given by dabba z by dabba x into dx by dt plus dabba z by dabba y into dy by dt. Now let us calculate these derivatives on the RHS. Since z is equal to xy square plus x square y, its derivative with respect to x as well as y is possible. So let us calculate dabba z by dabba x first, keeping y terms constant. So derivative of z with respect to x will be y square plus 2xy. Similarly, since x is equal to 80 square where a is parameter, derivative of x with respect to t will be 280. So dz by dt's first term will be y square plus 2xy into 280 plus sign dabba z by dabba y can be obtained by treating x term constants. So we have dabba z by dabba y is equal to 2xy plus x square. And dy by dt can be obtained from this definition of y. Since y is 280, derivative of y with respect to t is just 2a. So this is dz by dt's expression. You can simplify it by further substituting values for x and y in terms of t. You can pause the video and check the calculation. Now let us go ahead for another example. Here z is defined as e raised to xy, x is t cos t and y is t sin t. Then we are asked to find the value of dz by dt at t is equal to pi by t. Let us first draw the tree diagram for this. As you can see, z is a function of x and y and x and y are functions of t. Tree diagram of this set of functions will look like this. Clearly, z is a composite function of t. So its derivative with respect to t is dz by dt and is given by this formula. dabba z by dabba x into dx by dt plus dabba z by dabba y into dy by dt. Let's calculate dabba z by dabba x. z is e raised to xy. So dabba z by dabba x keeping y constant will be y into e raised to xy. Now let's calculate dx by dt. Since x is t cos t, dx by dt can be calculated using u into v rule of derivative. Derivative of t is 1 cos t as it is plus t as it is derivative of cos t is minus sin t plus 
डबा जेड बाय डबा वाई कैन बी ऑप्टेन बाय ट्रीटिंग एक्स कांस्टेंट इट विल बी एक्स इनटू ई रेस टू एक्स वाई इनटू डी वाई बाय डी टी कैन बी ऑप्टेन यूजिंग यू इनटू वी रूल ऑफ डेरिवेटिव एस वाई इज टी साइन टी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टी इज वन साइन टी एस इट इज प्लस टी एस इट इज इनटू साइन टी इज डेरिवेटिव कॉस टी नाउ वी कैन सब्सटिट्यूट वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स एंड वाई इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी एक्स इज टी कॉस टी वाई इज टी साइन टी then after simplification we will put t is equal to pi by 2 in this so after simplifying this we get dz by dt is equal to minus pi square by 4 you can pause the video and check the calculations now proceeding for next example here u is defined as f of e raised to y minus z comma e raised to z minus x comma e raised to x minus y then we have to show that sum of partial derivatives of u with respect to x y and z is equal to 0 see that u is defined as f of e raised to y minus z e raised to z minus x comma e raised to x minus y so here we are unclear about the variables involved in the definition of a u so let us assume P is equal to e raised to y minus z, q is equal to e raised to z minus x, and r is equal to e raised to x minus y. Because of this assumption, now we can say that u is a function of p, q, and r. Now let us draw tree diagram for this. On the top, we will have u, which is a function of p, q, and r. and we see that p q and r are functions of x y z so we say u is a composite function of x y and z so derivative of u with respect to x will be d by u by d by x and can be given by the formula d by u by d by p into d by p by d by x plus d by u by d by q into d by q by d by x plus d by u by d by r into d by r by d by x Similarly, one can write formulas for d by u by d by y and d by u by d by z. Now let's put values for d by p by d by x, d by q by d by x, and d by r by d by x in this RHS. Values of derivatives of u with respect to p, q, and r cannot be obtained as u is not explicitly given in terms of p, q, and r. So we will keep these derivatives as it is. we will find the values of daba p by daba x daba q by daba x and daba r by daba x talking about daba p by daba x keeping y and z constant we see that p is e raised to y minus z so it is completely a constant term so its derivative with respect to x will be zero similarly daba q by daba x can be obtained by keeping y and z constant So here derivative of q with respect to x will be minus of e raised to z minus x plus dab y by dab r as it is derivative of r with respect to x keeping y and z constant will be e raised to x minus y. So will this will be the expression for dab y by dab x. Similarly, we will write what is daba u by daba y and daba u by daba z. Let me show you the calculations. Once again, we will keep daba u by daba p, daba u by daba q, daba u by daba r as it is, because u is not explicitly given in terms of p, q, and r. Daba p by daba y can be obtained by treating x and z constant. so its derivative with respect to y will be e raised to y minus z daba q by daba y can be obtained by treating x and z constant so e raised to z minus x is a constant term its derivative with respect to y will be zero daba r by daba y can be obtained by keeping x and z constant so its derivative will be minus e raised to x minus y we label this as 2 similarly daba p by daba z can be obtained by keeping x and y constant 
सो इट्स डेरिवेटिव इज माइनस ई रेस टू वाई माइनस झेड डबा क्यू बाय डबा झेड विल बी ई रेस टू झेड माइनस एक्स एंड डबा आर बाय डबा झेड विल बी इक्वल टू झीरो नाउ लेट एस ऐड दिस यू एक्स यू वाय एंड यू झेड सो बाय एडिंग दीज थ्री टर्म्स वी गेट सम ऑफ दीज थ्री टर्म्स दीज थ्री टर्म्स एंड दीज थ्री टर्म्स so in all we have to add nine terms on the rhs we see that dabba u by dabba q will get cancel with this dabba u by dabba q term because they have opposite signs similarly this dabba u by dabba r will get cancel with this dabba u by dabba r as they have opposite signs similarly dabba u by dabba p term will get cancel with this term as they have opposite signs these three terms are zero so sum of all these three terms will be equal to zero hence prove i hope guys you understood what is composite function and how to differentiate a composite function thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos